I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is the Banded Water Snake. The snake I have in my hand is just a juvenile. They can get quite bigger than this. This is the Florida Banded Water Snake. They get their names because of the pattern they have in their body, these bands. Usually when I find water snakes, it'll either be the brown or the green. However, I don't see these guys too often. But what I like about them is that they tend to have a calm demeanor. Like if this were a green water snake or a brown water snake, it would be snapping and striking. But see, he's sitting in my hand, very calm. Just like the green water snake, they have keeled scales that help them move through the land. These guys tend to hang around the shores of creeks, rivers, and lakes. You'll often see them at night hunting for fish and frogs and crayfish. Being water snakes, they also get confused with the highly venomous cottonmouth. But especially these guys because since they have the bands and they're small, they look like baby cottonmouths because baby cottonmouths will also be brown and have like darker bands just like this guy. Last time I mentioned that the way you can tell them apart is because the cottonmouths will have a triangular shaped head and these guys will have a round one. But what I forgot to say was that sometimes water snakes, what they'll do is that they'll puff their heads up to look venomous. Because you know, predators would normally avoid a venomous snake. But that can actually be detrimental because then people will think it's venomous and then kill it. But there is a way for sure to know if it's venomous or non-venomous because as you can see, its eyes have round pupils. Whereas the cottonmouth will have kind of like the eyes of a cat, the slits, the very thin pupil. This is something they can't change. So if you want to know if it's venomous and it's flaring up its head, you have to look at the eyes. That's the most surefire way to know if you're dealing with a cottonmouth or a harmless water snake. I find these guys really pretty. Instead of having that plain belly of the green water snake, these guys have kind of like a checkered pattern, which is really cool. Water snakes, especially one this small, have many predators, from birds to raccoons to possums. And since they don't have venom to defend themselves, they need to be very fast. As soon as they see, they see danger, they go in the water and bury themselves in the mud. These snakes are oviviparous, which means they give birth to live young. They're usually born in the summer, from May to August. The banded pattern will usually fade away as they grow and some large old snakes will be completely black. Now we're gonna put our little friend back in the water. Bueno muchachos, till next time.